Hello everybody, welcome back to Sin City Living. Jason here bringing you today's video. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted any videos, but uh, I really only got two emails from you guys lately, so you know, I really had nothing to, to post for you guys. But I have come across a couple of strange strategies that, uh, that I wanted to, to showcase for you. So this one, this strategy, I've seen this, I think three different players over the last week played this strategy. I don't know where the hell it came from, but it's a very, very, I'm just gonna say an odd strategy. It's a very odd strategy. So the player would start with a $50 don't pass bet, okay? $50 don't pass. Now, regardless of what the point is, let's say it was an eight, next he would do a, oh, I'm sorry. Next he would do a come bet. Yes, one of these strategies. Let me play the don't and let me play the come. This is what he was hoping for, was he was hoping for a .7 out. Because a .7 out, he'd make 100 bucks right here. So whatever roll, it would travel, and he would make another comeback. Now with this point, if the seven out occurs, these are a wash, so he's only gonna win 50 bucks. So point seven out, he's gonna win 100 bucks. Keep in mind, on the come out roll, he's only got three ways to win and eight ways to lose on his, on his uh, don't pass. So the player does lose a lot on the come out roll. But once the point is established, on a point seven out, the player will win 100 bucks, because they'll win that. On a third roll, seven out, because uh, the first roll set the point, second roll was the six. Third roll, seven out, they're gonna get paid here, but they lose here, so it's a wash, so they're gonna make 50 bucks. Now, if it's not, if something else rolls, his next bet, the don't come. Don't come. Now, here's the thing. If a seven rolls here, this player loses, hundred dollars. They will lose 50, 100, 150, and they will win 50 right there. So they will lose a hundred dollars. What ideal world would be for them is if the next roll were something that has already rolled, because then they're going to get paid 50 here, and now they are behind. But if it does happen to travel something new, another don't come. And that's what they did. They alternated two comes, two don't comes, two comes, two don't comes. That was the be all and end all of their strategy. And it's clearly a strategy because like I said, I saw three distinct different players playing it at different times and different days. Only once were they on the same table. They were on opposite sides. They clearly did not know each other. So I don't know where the strategy came from, but it's an intriguing strategy. Only once did I see the player win. Did I see a player win off of this strategy, but in order to do it, he actually really raised his bets up and up to $100 on each. Uh, because like I said, you have to really catch the right thing. You have to catch that cold table for the .7 outs. You catch that, you're golden. But say a situation like this, where we are at right now, if the seven were to roll at this point, they're going to lose 150 bucks and they're gonna win 100, so they're down 50. Now, by some odd occurrence, they end up on another number, they go back to the comments and they just alternated two, 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 two. The thing is this strategy, it's not targeting anything. It's really, really not targeting anything. The .7 out is its primary goal. The .7 out, it wins 100 bucks. Now, as we said, if we already travel once and the seven out occurs, at that point they win 100 there, they lose 50 here, so they win 50 bucks. So within the first two rolls, if the seven out comes out, they're gonna win 50 or 100 bucks. So a third of the time, theoretically, because they have a one in six chance of, of a seven rolling. But if it were to travel and then we're here, so on this roll, now they lose 100 bucks if a seven were to roll. So we've got a scenario where they win 100 bucks, we got a scenario where they win 50 bucks, we got a scenario where they win, where they lose 100 bucks, and now we have a scenario where they lose the 150, but they win the 100, so now they only lose 50 bucks. So scenario where they win 100, scenario where they lose, where they win 50, scenario where they lose 100, scenario where they lose 50. And that right there covers two thirds of the, of the rolls. Now, that's not counting things like, say, they actually roll one of the numbers that has already occurred, in which case they'll get paid, and then it'll come behind. But that's also discounting winners and down behinds. So there, the, the problem with this strategy is, 
you can't really figure out what it is they are trying for. Are they trying for a 20 minute roll? Oh, hell no. Because they're going to get constant down behinds while they're also going to get paid on their combat. So it's going to be a wash. It's going to be a wash. Or are they targeting five minute rolls? Well, the five minute rolls are already looking like approximately a break even point. Like there, there, there doesn't seem to be a win condition here. This player cannot win big money on any individual roll. So that means that they have to catch a whole slew of 0.7 outs or point number seven outs. That's that's really the only way they're going to win. Other than the the uh, you know rare occasion where they manage to hit both their both their combats, then the seven out occurs, and they're they're behind uh, behind on those numbers. But again, it's just it's 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 oddball. It's oddball. It doesn't have a, a defined uh, strategy. It doesn't follow the math of the game. It doesn't follow the probabilities. It's just a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's strange. I've seen it before. I saw it years ago. And it, it kind of slipped my mind. I did film something about this once before, but then I just saw it come back big time the last week or two, and I just thought it was interesting, so, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you find it interesting, enlightening, amusing, or at least just plain fun, and we will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.